we're having a St. Baldrick Shaveathon event where people are fundraising money for childhood cancer research by pledging to shave their heads. So today we're doing all the head shaving and people are doing it as a sign of solidarity. But this is actually the fourth annual St. Baldrick Shaveathon that's happened on Bowling Green's campus. It's been going really well. It's been a lot of high energy. We've had some performance groups come in like the Coos Chicks and Find You Alpha fraternity and we also have the Roots Music Club coming in to perform and we've had a couple Donner families speak about their experience along with a researcher that's actually had grant funding from St. Baldrick. It's been a really good turnout. There's been lots of people cheering on their friends and things like that and we've done really well with fundraising too which is exciting. Now, our original goal was $20,000 and this morning before the event started we were at about $18,000 and now we're at 23 so it's really really exciting. We've raised a lot of money just today alone and broken our goal. We've needed more shavies and sometimes not always shavies but a lot more hair donations. We partner with Canteen Beautiful Links and a lot of girls will donate their hair to that even if they don't shave, which is really awesome because they still fundraise money for the cause, but they're also taking their hair and making a difference with that too. I came in to volunteer um, because I, I work within Residence Life and Residence Life is a big part of um, St. Baldrick's and I was volunteering and just, you know, on a whim was like, I'm going to shave and it just kind of touches home because I've had people affected by cancer in my life and it's just very heartwarming to see so many people coming together and working collaboratively to raise money um, for such a really great cause and like hearing the personal stories from a lot of the the families it, it's really heartwarming and it touches you in a way that some things don't have the opportunity to touch you and it just it makes you want to do so much more for people who are affected by cancer and especially children they're so young and some of them don't get to experience life and I think that's a big reason why I decided to shave is because it hurts my heart as an aunt and as um, and as a friend and a nanny and a past babysitter that you know there's some kids that don't get to to grow up and enjoy their life so I think that's a really big reason why I shaved and it's been it's been a great experience it's really fun in there they have a lot of live music and some great people and a lot of support like definitely when you're on stage they're always cheering for you taking pictures and um, just helping you along the way. So it's been a really, really great experience for me.